Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Mead and I'm an IPC Master Instructor for 771121, A610, WAMA 620, and J Standard 001. This month's soldering tip will be on illumination at your work services and I will be reading in accordance with J Standard 001 paragraph 4.2.3 called lighting on page 9. It says illumination at the surface of the workstation should be at least 1,000 lumens per meter squared. It says supplemental lighting may be necessary to assist in visual inspection. Light sources should be selected to prevent shadows on the item being inspected except those caused by the item being inspected. We also have a note here. It says in selecting a light source the color temperature of the light is an important consideration. Light ranges from 3,000 to 5,000 Kelvin enable users to distinguish various printed circuit assembly features and contaminates with increased clarity. And again, that is in accordance with IPC J Standard 001. And if you look in front of us, in front of the screen right now you'll see just a few of the different lightings that we are going to be talking about. There's a couple more that we will bring in to show and discuss them also. As we work with uh, modern day technology and solder joints and components become finer and finer and finer then we need to look towards illumination at our work surfaces and that does become very very important. But also, remember, as we get older, lighting becomes a very, very important uh, use for us when we start to read or everything, and that determines uh, for some of us when we will start needing glasses. The first one you see here is a regular ring lamp with a magnifier on it. And what I'm going to do is slowly increase this, and as you notice, as it starts to light, or the light starts to heat up, you will notice that the illumination at my workstation will change. Okay, it is increasing. It's about 339. Okay, now let's see what happens when I turn this off and you see regular room light that some companies actually work with. You can see a drastic change in there. And yes, that's going to make us harder to see what we're looking at. Now, let's change this out. We went from a ring lamp and we're going to put a lamp underneath the microscope and see what illumination we have there. So now you can see a fluorescent ring lamp that goes under that fits underneath the microscope at what we're looking at now. So as we change things and change the lighting and increase it that we our illumination is increasing also. So this is again with a ring lamp with a fluorescent bulb on it. Next thing I'm going to be showing you is one with LED lights. Now you can see a bigger difference. This is with LED lights giving more direct light to your workspace and we've almost uh, about 400 looms more than what we were working with a little while ago. So this is going to give us better lighting but also remember about all these different lights. How much shadowing will it create? How much lighting at our workspace? You know so we don't have issues with it. Okay, so you can see this one's a little bit better, and this is uh, actually attaches to the bottom of a microscope. And the next one I'm showing you, and you can see it's really high, and I've actually got it turned down, is some floodlights. And I'm going to show you what they look like here in a second. And we can direct and move and uh, get better lighting and angles and stuff like with these, because these got like little goosenecks. So I'm going to zoom out and let you see what these guys look like also. And you can see that uh, they got the goosenecks on there and that I can pivot them, move them around, adjust them to where I need good lighting at. And you can see what it is right here. And again, I don't have this all the way up. And this is actually times 10. So you can actually see what it's at. Okay. Now if I was to increase this, as you can see, I can do this. You can see it actually exceeds it. Then now what I have to do is multiply this number times 100 and that's how much lighting I'm getting 
at my work surfaces. And the last one here is using a, a standard bulb and we're using fiber optics and directing it and you can see this and this number here is multiplied times 100 so you can see that as we've changed things out we've got better lighting I'm going to zoom out so you can see what we're looking at here and you can see the uh, goosenecks again and that you can adjust them and bend them and this is using fiber optics through it and directing it right to our area where we would possibly work. And you can see that this is the illumination at the workstation. So you can see with different things, the different magnifications out there. And like I said, you have to make that determination of what you want to utilize in your workspace. Different ones are for different objects, what you're looking at, if you're using just regular through hole soldering and stuff like that. You might just use a regular ring lamp. You don't need a lot of lighting there for some people. Some people like it, some people don't. Me, the way I look at it, the better the lighting, the better you are. So thank you and have a good day. This is Norman Meir from Best Incorporated. Bye.